Hello everybody and welcome back to Dust Elysian Tale with me Transfat. Alright, let us continue spelunking in the caves under Aurora Village. Where there's bunnies. Wish I knew this safe spot was here. In the last episode. Because <laughs> I would have saved there. Instead of going all the way back to the surface. Okay. End of the line. Looks like a pretty nasty drop. Yes, very nasty. We should go around, I think. There's no time to find another route. Those monsters came up through here. There's gotta be a path down below. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah? Whee! Wow, they were not kidding. Also, this treasure up there. Okay, red. What do we have? Blue and gray, gray is it? Uh, oh, blue and white. Okay. And that's red or pink or something? I do like the design of this cave here, the art. <laughs> Did you see something move up ahead? I saw something move. Fidget, you need to calm down. I thought you said you weren't afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the things in the dark. I don't see anything, Fidget. How could you possibly see anything in here with that big hat over your eyes? I hate caves. Our kind isn't meant to be underground. We should be soaring high in the wide open sky. I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, hush. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Okay. I. Well, that's that just looks unsanitary. I recommend you stop doing that immediately. Okay, chapter two, darkness. Surumon Caverns. Okay, a new region has been revealed? Yeah, sure has. Also, I don't know if it showed up in the recording, but I've definitely seen the company that made this uh, Humble Hearts logo show up before that that little thing. That's interesting. I don't think we were meant to see that. Wow, these these are these are nothing. <laughs> I really wish I could slide down that hill. No, 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 no stop it. That's rude. Rude. Does that actually not set fire to them? Oh no. What is this? Oh. You've been poisoned. When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon. Death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough! Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. Okay. So, that that's their threat. Oops, I don't want to equip that. I just wanted to use it. Oh! You're being really aggro. Have it. Okay, so take those out quick. Luckily, they don't have much health. Nope. No pooping at me. I will have none of that. It's getting really hard to see. I'm starting to regret coming down here. <laughs> I was regretting it minutes ago. Hipster. Okay, treasure, and a shop, and a save spot, and pretty trees. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Do you think the villagers know about this place? You look horrific. Our search has not been in vain. Let's clear this area. 
I tried to attack them. Quest updated us to us. We discovered a beautiful yet dangerous underground world. Travel deeper to learn why the monsters attacked Aurora. Yeah, I tried to attack when I seen this, because it's kind of horrific looking. That's why you heard that noise and the icon came up. Hi. You know, I... How do I change that? Nope, that wasn't it. There we go. I actually think I like this attack better. Because it arcs down. This is more useful to me. Maybe? I don't know. Hey! Okay. Starting to think how I would even get the, the thousand hit combo for that quest. I really have to like juggle them and use like fidget ability and stuff like that, I imagine. Cause it does a lot of hits really quickly. A lot of weak hits. Okay. Hey, get out of here. Okay. You know, I just realized I'm doing pretty good for the money. Okay. Uh. Oh. Ah. You jerk. Get out of here. Harassing this merchant. So, you have slain the one known as Fuse. I had no choice. He'd lost his minds, murdered many innocents. I am not judging, friend. His death was sad, but necessary. Forgive me for asking, but are you a Moonblood? The Moonbloods. They are an ancient race, and their presence is not tolerated in these lands. One would be at a disadvantage among so many warm-blooded creatures. I understand. I believe you do not, my friend. But I will not press the matter if you do not. Okay then. Nothing new, right? I think we had that before. You know, I'm gonna grab a few of these. Um, I'm actually gonna check what else they have. Ooh, new things! Yes. Child's Pendant. Hmm, a multiplier for... I wish I could actually see the stats though, that'd be nice. Yeah, I mean this this is this is old hat. Lightstone vest. We have slime mail. So slightly better. Uh no. Nothing good there. Nothing good there. Do I have anything to sell to you? Nope. Okay. I guess I'll get some Healy Dealies then. Get some mysterious wall chicken. Grab. Oops, no, that's sell. I don't want to sell. I want to buy. That was almost very bad. Let's grab five of those. Your transaction. I think I think I have enough uh, enough uh, anti poison material items. Okay, yeah, I guess I should go up there because we're headed down. Let's check out the side paths first, I guess. That's my rationale, anyway. Hi there. I'm gonna need you all to die, like right. Really sharpish. Okay, there's a treasure chest there. What you got for me? That was a little quicker than the other ones, I think. Brutal augment. Well, just how brutal is it? Plus 40 attack. No. <laughs> no. I'm warm pretzels, though. Blue mushroom, that'll help. <clears throat> Just swap them. Damn it. Oh, oh maybe I should have tried jumping over to the other side. Hey, look who's. No, 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 no. Me, come on now. Stop doing that. Do it, do it right. Ah, yeah, I seen that. I wonder if we'll get a double jump at some point. Eh. Okay, that's an explodey rock, right? Yeah. Hi there. Oh, look at you. 
in your hot shit. I suppose if I was going for the combo, I should actually take off uh, attack increasing items. That would probably make sense. This is weird just having that one enemy there like that. Hmm? I guess that's just to get back up there. Okay. I a distinct lack of things. Oh. Well, where do I go then? Oh, where did you come from? Interesting. Hi there. Wow, that really uses a lot of stamina real quick if you just spam it. No, nope, don't want it. Keep your filth to yourself. Ah, crap. Okay. Weird, kind of weird mob spawn thing. I've seen the, the little pods before, but they're on the other side of it. They look like. There's 41 hits. It's a weird sound. Okay, so what, what did I miss then? Get out of here. Don't want it. Well, that's not helpful. Although the objective is to the left. But to the left, it was just the one room. I guess I wasn't supposed to go this way? This early? What's it's looking like to me. Oh, yeah. Things hit each other? I think they did. Getting a good amount of money now. Those bags have been appearing. It's funny, that sound always reminds me of like... Like a, a sound that windows might make if, you, if something went wrong. <laughs> Or maybe not windows. Maybe like, hmm. It almost sounds like my uh, my Android tablet when it, when the battery's going low. I think that's the sort of sound it makes. Something of that description, anyway. You know what I mean. Unless unless you don't have any devices like that. Which I su suppose I shouldn't expect, because I've only had a device like that. Uh... I didn't have one until recently. Okay. I... I'm missing something. Also, there's apparently a lot of treasure in this map. Huh. Okay. Um. Eh, let's get some more defense. Or I am not confident. I go through this again. You know what? Screw you guys. Not interested in your crap. Quite literally. Wait, was Fidget's comment about wondering if the uh, the villagers know about this a cue to go back to the village? Probably say that in our quests, right? 
Okay, I'm travel deep to learn why though, okay. Also, I just noticed these have like xenomorph style sub jaws. That's, a, that's always fun. Give me some of that in my life. So I must have missed something. Unless I have to get over there. Okay. So that, you just get blown up. Get it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm a moron. Or not? Okay, that makes sense why the spawns work like they did. Okay, that hit something. I'm gonna assume that opened that up. Also, my apologies. I'm just so used to seeing those those really, really uh, narrow passageways and and not being able to do anything about it. Okay, so keys over there. Oh, that's not happening. Unless. No, that's really not happening. I guess. Maybe I have to go from below. No. Huh. No matter. I have plenty of keys. Okay, more explodey things. I assume that ended up. There we go. Range. Okay, wall chicken. Oh, safe spot. Don't mind if I do. They're really generous with these. I suppose if I was playing on easy and it, and they they healed you like that uh, tooltip or whatever said before, then uh, get a lot of free heals. Oh hey. Dust. Wait. This creature is too well defended for a straightforward assault. We'll see about that. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. It is practically invulnerable unless you stun it with a parry, like so. He went down! Dust, would you like a refresher on parrying? Uh, no, I'm good. Very well. Be careful. Oh. Wow, 3.5k damage. Am I like really kitted out and I'm not aware of it? Maybe. Maybe that is just like a easy refresher tutorial on parrying. I don't know. Also, Dust, you should listen to your sword about combat. Look at you! Jelly bean. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Jelly bean. I'm not sure, but it sure did run off in a hurry. It's 
clearly a jelly vein. A small child seems to be wandering around these caves by himself. Perhaps he can help you learn more about the monster attacks? Or maybe we could eat him for health, because he's a jelly bean, clearly. Hey there. Let's notice they have eyes on their inner face thingies. Maybe these have slightly more health. Missing so much treasure. It hurts me. I like that combo because it just sends them flying at the end. Child's pendant. Oh, that's one we've seen, right? Yes. Slightly less attack, but a good bit more defense and luck. Can I craft that? Yes, I can. I guess I will. And then I will equip it. Hi. I, I wanted to counter you. Why aren't you attacking? Are you a friend? Oh no. I, I don't think it's a friend. Also, I didn't get poison there, apparently. Already. Money pendant? Oh. Well, I feel silly for making the last one. Oh. Imp hide and something we haven't seen yet. Well, that's not imp hide, that's something else. Okay. It doesn't have like a, a, a multiplier bonus though. Okay. So, how, how do I do? I've seen another chest up there. I'm missing something ridiculously simple again. Uh, okay, yeah, path over here. <laughs> we get better loot for comboing. Do new. Kind of the, the the attack with the like the flame pillars reminds me of an ability uh, from one of my favorite games, uh, Shinobi Three for the Genesis slash Mega Drive. One of the abilities in it work like that. It's kind of cool. Okay, wait a sec, wait, wait, wait. I I got this. Oh wait. Yeah, you, you can't stay over there. Aha! Nope. Uh oh. Not quite what I wanted to do. Ring of the Miner. I could I could strike like this. Didn't even notice. Okay. What's this all about? Dirty ring. Go to this ring venture deep into the Falana's core, discovering many incredible ores and minerals. Ooh, gold drop. Ooh. Can I build it? No. Okay, well. Hey there. You enjoy yourself. Alright, I'll catch you back um, at the exit to this room. Okay, welcome back. Let's continue on over here. See what we can see. I wonder if 
we're ever gonna use that to get a treasure or something. Okay. Oh, I just noticed they have a little bit of a wing behind them. So I guess they're supposed to be like ants. Okay, you poison. Don't you? Oh, Jesus. That level up startled me. <laughs> oh boy. Um, let's get some more attack. Yeah, did I miss anything over here? I might have. Yeah, no, I didn't. But yeah, like, if you hit an enemy when you're doing that, you really get some air. They've got to use that at some point, right? Jelly Bean! Ah! Wait! Let's follow him. Okay. Just pooped out a mushroom for us. Okay. Don't think I'm getting back up from that, so... Let's explore this way first. Hmm? I apparently cannot. There we go. A little janky. I... I like the warm up for the, the flame pillars. Okay. Hi there. Bad doggy things. And now another really truly trivialized by my damage output. Hi! Okay. Oh, okay. They have more than one attack. Good, good to know. That is, that is no, not what I planned. No, no, not at all. It's just uh, oh, I, I can't dash past them. Did that heal me? It looked like it was healing me there. Yeah, I want to stop getting pushed back into the save thing because it quick saves every time I go over it. Just one shot them. Warm pretzel. Hmm. I think I got one of the items that I needed for uh, to craft something there. Yeah, this thing. What is that? Trolk finger. Gnarled finger of the trolk. These are hound hides. Okay. Interesting. Now, what's over here? <laughs> I got the one behind me jumped into the fire anyway. It's like everyone else was doing it, so... Okay, so we're gonna get stopped here, right? Where are we? Kind of. That's a little unfair. Gotta, gotta say. Also, itchy nose. <laughs> wow! Okay, you opportunist little, opportunistic little fuck. Have some of that. Don't feel so big now, do you? Ah, I took a few hits there. I'm actually getting kind of low on my wall chicken. It's a shame it's not wall bread, because then I can make a joke about wall flour, but no. It's a joke that'll never happen. Hi. Mm-hmm. Master Ring of Wealth. Sounds pretty serious. Regen! Oh! And gold drop. Higher than that. What are you? Part of an insect, maybe? The 
expensive to make too. Wow. Feels like I just got something important. Oh, I don't have to sustain the, the dust storm to keep those pillars going, it seems. That's interesting. Let's do it the once. I don't know, maybe I do. Hmm. Well, it lasts for a while. If I don't sustain it anyway. Because that's what it feels like to me. Did that. You know, I'm gonna use um, some of my lesser Ely Dealies. Actually, they're better, but the ones I can't buy. Well, I can buy, I don't wanna buy because they're inefficient. Words! Hey there. Okay. Gotta burst those down. Oh, my nose is so itchy today. It's terrible. No, I'm not picking my nose. Just itchy. Okay. What's up? It's kind of weird because I think if that coincided with the last map, that would actually be a room we were in before. Must be 32% because the autosave was there. Oh. No! Go away! There he goes. Forget him. Take a look around. There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms. These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. They are called bubble sprouts, and it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. They react rather explosively to movement. Wonderful. <laughs> the jelly bean just ran by them just fine. Oh. They have quite the range. Is there a difference in the color? What does the color mean? Can't seem to damage them. Red lightly, huh? Or you can just like speed by them. That works too. seem to know, don't you? Okay. Well, we do have new stuff to sell. To sell? Wow. Lots of stuff. Hound's teeth. Hound hide and chalk finger. Okay. And now I can buy them, I assume? Oh, no, I have to wait for it to restock. Your transact. Thank you. That'll be something that happens, uh... We'll probably, uh, probably buy the stuff when I get back in the town. It doesn't even... I don't even seem to need, need to be near them. I'm, I'm calling a little bit of bullshit on them. Stop it. Oh, save spot. Might just save. We should I did. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, this loops back around, okay. Oh, there was treasure in the last room. I didn't even really give it a good look, did I? <laughs> good job, buddy. You are the best. Oh, he came back, look at that. <laughs> Meant to be smart, but he's got chutzpah. Or something. Tenacity. Moxie. Spunk. Spunkadelic. Oh, okay. Well. Hi again! <laughs> it's been a while. I like how they fall at the end. Hey, shop's restocked. Do I want to go up to the shopkeeper and buy the things I need to make the new things? I thought there was one back here. Wow, I've got a good chunk of money. Okay, yeah, there was this, which I need. Okay, I still can't make that. What was the other thing? Oops. Uh, armor? No. There it is. So wait, I should be able to be able to get two of these, right? I wonder if they stack. Okay, no. Don't. What, what, what am I thinking of? Oh, it's this thing. Okay. I'll probably just skip that, right? It uses some of the same materials? No, it doesn't. Huh. Do I want to get that? I don't know. I'll think on it. I'll think on it and then probably forget about it, and then I'll find something better anyway. I mean, we already found something better, it's just I don't know where the materials for it come from. Oh no. There he is! Look, he's in trouble! Ah! Leave me alone! Picking on little ones, huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust. Or this battle will be over before it begins. Oh no! His name was Bobo. I think I seen the indicator and there. There he goes again. You're welcome, kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him and maybe get out of this raining death. A little bit. <laughs> wow. I almost made that fight look easy. Kind of proud of myself right now. The clenching was real. <gasps> Sheepies! Underground. Mud pot. Okay. Look, more jelly beans. Don't you miss the light? I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. That's racist. I just realized I've been calling them jelly beans. <laughs> oh boy. There he is. Your father's done going to have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? Ah, Mama, look! The things must have followed me! How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers! She does see that I can fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. This is great. Back! Back, you beast! I got this ear spoon, and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm sorry. We just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Yes. Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, 
flying weasel cat thing down here? I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Fopo! You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again! Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help. Cannibalism. Stop saying that! Pa's gonna die if we don't do something! Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water, but just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up. But every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks? So... You're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. Wonderful. <laughs> um, you've discovered the small village of Mudpot deep in the Suramon Caverns. Bopo's father is dying and can only be saved by a creature called the Lady. Explore the village to find a way to her chamber. Okay. Well, if I was a lady and responsible for making things wet, I would probably stay away from people that had southern accents as well. There we go. A little lesbian humor for you. Um. Too bad. He's sleeping peacefully. Let's leave him alone. Mm-hmm. It's just, just like beds and fire. Not much for furniture. <laughs> okay. Hi there. Smoke bump. Ugh, it's a pretty kitty cat. What, me? It's a flying cat! <sighs> She's not a cat, little girl. She's a... Oh, I don't even know what she is. Weasel cat. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Fidget. Maybe we'd met? Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something! It's trying to grab me with its little child hands! Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, um what's your name? Smobop. <laughs> well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Oh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you... Look, I've got this box thing. Hey, Dust, look. That must be Reed's box. Hmm. Tell you what. Next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. 
Phew, good idea, Dust. You know, that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah, maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! <laughs> That's wonderful. A better fidget. Smobop and Mudpot insist that she must have a fidget. Must have fidget. Resisting the urge to give her the real thing, you decide to find a suitable replacement, preferably in the form of a fidget doll. Your best bet would be the shopkeeper in War Village. Are fidget dolls a thing? Uh, obviously they have fidget spinners and fidget boxes and just fidget toys in general. Are they fidget dolls? Would that be like extra effective? Or you know, like calming and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, this game is growing on me. Um, first two episodes, I, I was thinking, eh, not really doing the Metroidvania thing, but I think it's got its own charm. Okay, so we leveled up. Um, eh, let's get some health. Sure. Yeah. Also, Smoke Up, isn't that isn't that the last uh, song that Hanson uh, was famous for? Something like that. <laughs> Hi there, are you a thing? <laughs> Hello, old bean. Blop. Well, howdy there, big fella. Am I hearing the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose are gonna save her village? What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the ladies' chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thought, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy. Take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement, and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spiky rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hitting stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blop. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. The best character. Okay, that's part of the main quest. You've been told that an item beneath Mudpot can aid you in your quest. Press added, hit and stick. Okay. Lop has lost his hit and stick in the area below Mudpot. Retrieve his stick so we can get back to hitting things as soon as possible. <laughs> that's great. Uh, what's over here? Yeah, okay, we got the red resonance gem. And yeah, you, you got something too? Blow hop? Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. I stand out that much, huh? Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you, and it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat! We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, the endless, endless gloom. That's endless forever. I'm sorry. Look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop. And my husband, Gappy, is up there in the pen, minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. I could always help you find some of that red moss, if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave mud pot. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? 
Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. Perfect darkness, you say? Oh, it just occurred to me, I haven't been talking to these people a second time to get more experience. Hello again, Flowhop. Hello, young man. I hope you're well. We're still looking for clumps of red moss. Okay. So, red moss. Flowhop has asked you to find clumps of red moss so that you could feed her hard-working husband. Apparently they only grow in the dark under the canopies of giant red mushrooms. Okay. And we got that ring. Okay, a ring of sight. Plain looking ring that glows in the dark. A little more attack, a little well, do less luck. Um Yeah, I guess that'd be useful. Uh, everybody's got quests. Old Gappy. Well, good evening, youngin. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear the two of you are helping out Popa. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open, because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. I'll keep my eyes open for them. Well, thank you, son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. Well, as long as it's just talking. Uh, old Cappy has asked you to find his six lost sheep. They could be anywhere in the caverns. You'll recognize them by their sp sparkling black wool. Okay. Oh. The graveyard? Well, that looks like... Yeah. You're pretty. Well, I guess we're not doing that right now. Alrighty. Hmm. Guess I could try going up ish. Okay. Another sheep over there. I've heard that sound elsewhere too that well, it sounds like the sheep now, I guess. Jerk hitting me like that. Making me look bad. Oh, well, ah crap. Just have to like touch them. Collect Gabby sheep. Wait, did you just Yep. Hmm? Did you just put that thing in your inventory? Yeah. What? Okay then. <laughs> oh, that's great. Self aware. One of Gabby's last walk. They look light. I see shiny. I want shiny. I hear something too. Metal scraping. Okay. Fidget, you can stop with that prompt. I know I can drop through things. See? Yeah, I can do it. Okay. <laughs> Fidget, stop it. Hey, look at these enemies again. I haven't seen these in a while. This is just the one. Okay. Well, we're gonna save. Right there. And, uh, we're five minutes early, but I think I'm gonna call it an episode. So if you liked it, why not give it a like, comment, or constructive criticism. And if you want more like this, why not subscribe? Either way, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, and I hope you'll join me next time. Stay spicy!